Hey everyone, I'm Chris. Uh, today I wanted to sort of, um, well, partly address something that people have been asking me to do for a long time now. Um, people, a lot of guys have been asking in the comments and stuff on various videos. They wanted to see, uh, like, all the airsoft stuff, like my whole collection and that, um, and all the guns. I can't do that quite today, unfortunately, but I've had a, been doing a lot of work here, um, or a lot of work's been getting done here at home, putting a whole new uh, load of furniture and stuff, redecorating and that. So I thought I'd uh, show you around a little bit and uh, how the uh, how all the uh, sort of stuff stack it up at the moment. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so as I say, we're sort of still in the, in the middle of redecorating in the room here. As you can see, a bit of work to do. Nice old school. <laughs> that was from before I joined the RAF way back. PS2 and a uh, nice fat TV. Check out the curve on there. Brilliant. Anyway, so yeah. It's a bit of work to do, but we've got these pretty sweet uh, triple built-in wardrobes put in. So start off here, first plug one we got. This is all the, it's a bit dark, so I apologise for that. But this is all the uh, all the plate carriers, and what we'll be going in here is all the guns. So have got a couple in there at the moment. Um, just uh, waiting, I'm going to be putting some racking in all the way around. So I can stack them all up. Got plate carriers hanging up. Some uh, storage at the top there, not really using that at the moment. The middle one, this is all like the uniforms. So, as you can see, <laughs> just got uh, field jackets, smocks, underbody armor combat shirts. Got the uh, more standard stuff. So, we've got the Multicam, ATAX. Marine issue, woodlands, CS95, old school, some of, the, some of my old replica stuff that I don't really use anymore. Um, transportation bag, uh, gun case sort of thing, warrior, got another one back there that's Garda. Then we've got here, this is all the magazines. You see lots of, uh, lots of mag pulls. Lots of, uh, got all my P mags, T mags, 40mm grenades, some. Polymer AK magazines there. Down at the bottom to go with all the magazines, you've got all the ammo, BBs, gas. That's something there. that's a little nice souvenir I got in the Falklands. Um, just my standard clothes there for when I'm just gash old stuff for when I'm working on greasy oily guns. And then in the third one here, this is sort of a bit of a more variety of things. So start off again, apologize. It's really dark, sorry about that. But then we've got all like the cry type trousers, we've got Gen 3s, MTP customs, cut a few from Ops, AOR1, AOR2, cry ACs in range of green, got a uh, set of um, issue tanky coveralls there. Nice, uh, nice old Desert Knight Parker. And uh, on the top, we've got all like the gun parts, Velcro patches. Um, Things like stocks, handguards, spare bits I'm not using. And then all bits of different gear, caps, uh, headgear, eye pro, slings, belts, various small parts in the drawers there. Chrono gloves, a um, whole load of optics, all pistols, again waiting on putting racks in for those. And then down at the bottom, got like uh, got boots and then a box more sort of miscellaneous parts, pistol mags, that kind of thing. And then even right in the end there, this bit, as you can see, we had to sort of get it custom cut and it goes into this sort of the cut in the wall. And I've got a little basket there that's full of like chem lights and first field dressings and stuff like that, all that kind of thing. And then batteries, CR123s, LiPos, small gun bits, and then uh, about it really. Just, just. So yeah, um, just wanted to show you that. It's looking, it's looking good so far. Still got some work to do. Um, I'll get once, uh, once all the gun racks are put in down there, I'll try and get a video with a bit better light and um, actually show you what the whole thing really looks like. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Um, I will be doing an update of this sometime in the future. So uh, I'll see you next time.